the most meta winger build on FIFA 22 Pro Clubs and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it. Before we get into the video, I do just want to add in a quick warning that to fully complete this build, you do have to be a fairly high level. However, at this stage of the game, for most Pro Clubs players, I would imagine that this is not an issue. But if you are someone who is low leveled and you do not feel like you can complete this build fully, do not worry because you can use this video as a rough guide and adjust your skill points accordingly. Moving on with the video now, the first thing we are going to get into is the player profile, starting off with the position. Now for this build, I have got the position set as striker and some of you guys may be thinking, what are you doing? Why are you using a striker build when you're creating a winger build? And the reason being is, there are very minimal differences between the dribbling and pace of a striker and the dribbling and pace of a winger. And these are obviously two key stats that we look for when playing out on the wing. However, the shooting off a striker is 10 times better than the shooting off a winger. And although you're playing out on the wing, you are still going to get chances in front of goal and you want to make sure you have the best possible chance of hitting the back of the net. Moving on to the height now, I've got it set as 5 foot 8, which I feel is a perfect balance between being quite tall, strong but really clunky, and small, really weak, but very, very agile. Moving on to the weight now. Now, in the last video, I got absolutely rinsed for the way I said this. I think I said libs, which I didn't know at the time meant pounds. So, for those that got on to me, I'm very, very sorry. But for this build, we have got it set as 116 pounds. As, again, I just feel like it's a good balance between being quite strong but clunky and quite weak but agile. And your preferred foot is totally up to you. I've got mine set as left foot. Moving on to the actual stats now and where you want to put your skill points. So the first two columns, which will be physical and defending, you want to completely bypass them and move yourself on to dribbling. As for the left column, you want to fill out everything apart from the final attacking position stat and the final ball control stat. And similarly, for the right column, you want to fill out everything apart from the final balance stat and the final attacking position and agility one. This will put your stats to 91 agility, 77 balance, 84 attacking position, 94 ball control, 96 dribbling, and you will have five star skill moves. Now, dribbling is obviously one of the most important parts of a winger's game. And with these stats, it's gonna ensure that when you're playing at a high enough level against top end defenders, you're gonna be able to beat the man you're going to find it easy to do so and hopefully create goal scoring chances. Moving on to passing now and all that I have done is stick one skill point on short passing. This is because if you receive the ball and you're not able to beat the man, you're still going to be able to play accurate passes that can hopefully keep the build up alive. Moving on to shooting now, again another very very important part to a winger's build in my opinion. On the left side of the column I've put one on penalties which allowed me to then put one on shot power. On the right side of the column, I've put one on finishing, one on long shots, two on long shots and shot power, one on volleys, and then I've went ahead and claimed the finisher archetype. Now, as mentioned previously, shooting is a big, big part of a winger's game. You're going to be involved in a lot of chances without you creating them or being trusted to put them away yourself. And having these stats will ensure the best chance at scoring a goal. Moving on to pace now, again a very very important part of a winger's build. I have put everything on apart from the final acceleration skill point and the final sprint speed skill point. This will up the acceleration to 92 and the sprint speed to 93, which will ensure that you're going to be able to burn the defenders for pace and up the number of goal scoring opportunities you are able to create. And goalkeeping, you can completely skip that section now as you are a winger, not a goalkeeper. This should leave you with the following archetypes. Maestro and links for dribbling, finisher for shooting, and a little hidden one that it doesn't show on screen, cheetah for pace. Moving on to the perks now. Now I believe that these are pretty self-explanatory. However, I will still take you guys through them just in case you are confused. The first perk that we're going to put on is Active First Touch. This will increase your ball control, acceleration and sprint speed. The boost will kick in as the player approaches to the ball and it will also grant the flare trait. This means that all the stats that are needed to be a winger are being boosted and if you get yourself into a tricky situation, you can use that flare trait to either create a flare pass or a flare shot and work your way out of it. 
The second trait that we're going to put on is Skilled Dribbler. This will increase a player's dribbling and skill move abilities when dribbling with a ball and it will also, again, grant you that flow trait. This will mean that the defenders find it very, very difficult to win the ball off you and again, if you get yourself into a tricky situation, you can use that flow trait to hopefully get out of it. And the final perk we're going to put on is Clutch Finisher. This will increase your shooting attributes during the last 15 minutes and extra time off of game. It will also grant the finesse shot, outside of the foot shot and power header traits and increase your weak foot ability. Now the final parts there for me are the most important. Having a wide variety of shots that you're able to take will make it harder for the keeper to save and hopefully increase your chance at scoring. And it is as simple as that. Leave below in the comment section how you guys get on with this build alongside any other builds that you would like to see me create and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.